Hey everybody, in this video I was gonna show you the Porsche Cayenne I got from a copper and in this video I was gonna try test it and see if it starts and runs because it was listed uh, with uh, mechanical damage and it has some it's been wrecked but nothing major just small bumper and it's a turbo S and it's missing one of the inner coolers here's the video overall it has a nice 22 inch tackered rims with good tires and also has a almost brand new to be exhaust and right, so we're gonna see how it sounds if it runs it was listed as doesn't start but we'll see if it works so overall in good condition has 113,000 miles on it uh, has Brembo Turbo S uh, calipers and inside pretty clean as well has some wear on the seats and I'm not sure if I'm gonna part it out or just keep it for myself as a daily driver if I can fix it if it's worth it panoramic roof so let's try jump it up with this one have the boost pro jb 150 it's much more powerful than any regular uh jumper pretty good yeah clean engine Okay, as I said, they couldn't start it up at the auction, so they listed as mechanical. Doesn't start, doesn't run. Let's see what's here. Radio. The keys on the left. starts and works oh yeah for the radio oops let's see and it was sitting low because it had didn't start for a few months See if the suspension works like two and a half fingers we'll see let's see if i'm gonna switch it up here normal comfort few lights airbag light I love the thing. I'm gonna leave a link below. It starts any car, even though like the regular ones, they don't even start anything. And they couldn't start it up at the auction. I started up right away. How do you open up the trunk? Trunk, trunk, trunk. I don't know. What the fuck? 
I've never had a Porsche before, so excuse me. Let's do here. Nope. If I push it on the key. Plastics covers in the trunk. So there, some kind of cloth. Ceiling is nice, no sagging. Ah, well, came up a little bit. It was two and a half. Right now, it's like easily three fingers. The headlight works. This one is kind of fucked up. Uh, I didn't check the oil, but who cares? Don't see any oil leaking smoke yet. Uh, let's try driving it. See if it shifts and all that stuff. I don't think there is gonna be any power because. As I said, it's missing one of the inner coolers on this side due to the accident. A small run wouldn't hurt it. Let's see. Get the airbags light, traction control light off. On. Let's drive. Radio off. Let's try. Drives so far, showing the parking distance, but they're like missing because of the accident. Eight miles. Let's try driving on this small street. ports and get it fixed up uh, has only 113,000 miles on it which is really low and it is 2006 can turbo s The second car I ever bought on uh, Copert usually go through IAA, but this one was a nice deal. Try. Ah, shit! It doesn't have the reverse camera. Could have gotten one for such nice car. came up the turn. <laughs> it's like six inch now. It's kinda shaking. But sounds pretty nice. It's 
smells like oil burning. Let's pop the hood and see what's inside. If it leaks any oil. And the temperature now is uh, does the show. Yeah, I have some oil coming out from this side. And a little bit from this side, but mostly from this side. I don't know, now if you can see it on the camera here. So let's shut it off. That probably has a bad battery. Didn't even get charged like... Uh, has a lick in the oil, uh, freaking not oil, uh, daylight. <laughs> that shit doesn't, still doesn't open up. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Oh shit, you see the oil? smoke coming out of it? That's a bad leak for such kind of newish engine. So let me know whether I should keep it or part it out.